Some positional and personnel changes from Sean Lynn that arguably only strengthen his side from that 84-0 win last week. In the pack, Kelsey Jones and Connie Powell swap their two and six jerseys, respectively, while Bethan Lewis comes in at number eight in place of last week's double try-scoring debutant Meg Isaac uh, on the bench. The only change in the back line, their top try-scorer last season and last week, Ellie Underwood, who starts on the left wing, having scored a second-half hat-trick off the bench, as we said, against DMP. As for Bristol then, well, Dave Ward makes uh, names an unchanged Bears pack from last week, which includes player of the match on their win against Exeter, new face Hannah West. The back three is, as we've said, without Jasmine Joyce, the Welsh flyer having rejoined GB7 for a two-week camp. Joyce is replaced by compatriot Courtney Keat, who starts on the right wing, a switch that also sees Jenny Hesketh move to fullback. Abby Ward and Amber Reed, those experienced hands on the tiller in terms of co-captains. It's a really good shove from the Bristol pack, but Natasha Hunt has used it well. Wilkins then on the switch with Tatiana Hurd, and there's the strength to get through. Support on the outside. It's decent from Kelly Smith. We know how quick Smith can be. Just hauled down before the line. Gloucester Harpery get there in number. Natasha Hunt offloads, and then the try is scored. Connie Powell crashing over, but it was made from the break from Tatiana Hurd. Mikey George then kicks it downfield. It's taken by Hesketh. Option on the right to use Crompton. Crompton is running backwards to get away from the tacklers here, but trying to find a bit of room on the right-hand side. And still going, Grace Crompton. Away! Made a good 25 metres in the end. Then it's there for John. Ball back inside for Byrne, and Byrne is trying to get away. Natasha Hunt there with Singh. Bringing down the tight head, but now it's snow still on for Marston. And can Renita Marston do it? She can find Phoebe Murray, and Murray's over. Bristol Bears get the game's second try, their first of the afternoon. They're onto the board, and this tight West Country affair starts another chapter as Bristol Bears start to close the gap. Now some more room on this right side. Keris Hale. Tatiana Hurd. Oh, and then the little dummy. That was very nicely done from Gwen Crabb. And Crabb is steaming down the right side. Ball back inside. Gloucester Harpery trying to get there. Not held with Kelly Smith. And over goes Kelly Smith. Now the referee is just checking with his assistant as to whether she was held. He's happy enough. And the try's been awarded. Bevan Reed. Had a little look, oh, and then Hesketh, then back to Reed. Murray on the outside, or on the inside, but now Murray gets it from the outside, and Murray for the corner for Bristol Bears. Second try of the game, and ties up the scores at the Alpas Arena. It's there for Abby Ward, the tried and tested new signing. Co-captain, and they start to get the roll on, and the try is there. It's Ronita Marston. Celebrations from Bristol Bears. They might have just pulled off the remarkable. So we hear the referee last saying play. last play. It's a last roll of the dice for Gloucester Hartbury. Tap down and not on from Bianca Blackburn. Not the tidiest off the top. And what an extraordinary win for Bristol Bears. They make it two from two at the start of the Allianz Premier 15 season. And they've come from behind to win at Gloucester Harpery. What a performance. And they'll take all five points as well.